Coaches challenge athletes always from a visual and vocal process on the field. Why not have the same mindset for the Christian athlete regarding Christ? Help the Christian athlete to find a visual focal point on that field. Maybe a goalpost, which looks like a cross, or the apex of a football, that also looks like a cross. If they focus on those things and see those things on the field, they're reminded of Jesus. Chatter is that vocal process. God and the Christian athlete can constantly be chattering or having a conversation on that field. Paul calls it unceasing prayer in 1 Thessalonians. Nehemiah, in the midst of a conversation with his king, was conversing with God. God loves to give instruction and insight to that athlete while he's competing regarding his technique or strategy or his response. This next drill helps promote the process of focal point and chatter. Go! I'm out of it. All right, good. Full speed, go, come on. Get out of it, get out of it. All right. Go. Okay, stop a minute. All right, now, I want you to be honest. I talked to you about focal points. Bef before we started throwing the ball, you had a couple times through without the ball, and then all of a sudden I added the ball. Did anybody at that point forget their focal point? Just be honest with me. Anybody just kind of raise their hand if that's true. Did you forget about a focal point? Honestly? Okay, good. Let me ask you this. Did you think about a focal point at all, even before we threw the ball? Everybody did? All right. Remember, no matter what we do to this drill, no matter where we are at, you got a great opportunity right now to get your focal point on whatever it is that you decided your focal point was going to be. And again, it's the love expression of who Jesus Christ is and what he's doing through you. And you want to consciously think of that. All right, here we go. Go. Come on, come on, get out of it. Okay, learn how to explode now. Explode. You're a good athlete. You've got to be an explosive athlete. You've got to be a high effort guy. Go, come on. Shoulders down, bang. Good, 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 Rex. Good. You know what I liked about what Rex did? His eyes were up in the air. You get a football player who plays with his heads down, somebody's going to jack him right in the throat and he ain't even going to know what happened to him. Also, you're missing out. You're missing what's happening in the game. That's just, just like a Christian who walks around with his head down all day long. Eyes up, observing what's going on. If you're not here, you shouldn't be there with your mind. Everything should be here. Your focal point with Christ, it should be right in this area here. Go. Come on. Full speed. Eyes up in the air. Eyes up in the air. Eyes up in the air. These, co these cones are bright orange. We made them bright orange so that you wouldn't have to look down. You can look up and see peripherally where they are. Go. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, get your shoulders down now. You're up in the air a little bit. Here we go now. Go. All right, now you got an opportunity to be talking to the Lord. Right now you got an opportunity to be thinking about the Lord. Some of you are still saying, ah, shoot, forget that Lord stuff. I just want to go out there and run the drill right and catch the ball. I'm going to tell you what, that will keep you about half of the level of your ability. You will never maximize your ability without God. Be aware that Jesus is present in you, and he's with you. I believe that at least this is what I've discovered in my life, how I am aware more of his presence. I talk with him. I talk with him. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, it tells us to pray without ceasing. Pray continually. When you're in a workout, you're saying, Lord, here comes this stinking drill again. I hate it. But I'm going to depend on you to get me through this drill and to have a great attitude in doing the drill. I'm going to listen to what my coach tells me to do. I'm going to follow the instructions. But, but Lord, it's going to be, have to be you doing it through me because I just don't have the desire for it right now. Put the desire in me and let's go at it. You talk with the Lord. That's how you become aware of His presence. You pray continually as Paul gave us the instructions to do. Down, down, down. Break, 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 break. Okay. We'll get a new quarterback here in a minute. Go. Come on, come on, bang your feet. Come on back. I want you to come back. I want you to come back. Come here now. Come on back. Come on back. Come on, run back. Run back. Come on. Come on now. Now listen. I want you, when you get to here, I want you, bang, bang, bang. Now, you know what that will allow you to do? It will allow you to build up all kind of speed from here to about here. You'll get more speed 
out of that thing, and then when you bang those feet down, that, that'll bring you down. That'll, that'll get you stopped faster, okay? Bang, I want to hear it. I want to hear the bass drums. Here we go. Go, come on. All right, all right. Okay, here we go. Come on now. Drop your shoulders, pump your arms through the brake. Go, pump your arms through the brake. The only thing you're doing is you're putting out the, the parachute right about here. And when you do that, watch me, I'm talking to you. Another focal point Wes talked about was the voice of the coach. And when the coach is talking, that ought to be instant. I don't care how many noises are around, you're very familiar with coach's voice. So here I am telling you, when you're doing this, you're sticking out a parachute. And you've told every defensive back in America, he's about ready to come out of his break now. I'm going to be driving on his butt. I'm going to intercept that ball. You keep everything in here when you come out of the break. Boom, 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 come out of the break. All right? All right, last one. Here we go. Go. Pump your arms, pump your arms, pump your arms. Boom. OK, we got a long way to go on that. A lot of you are dropping your arms, and you'll have defensive backs running right in front of you as receivers. Coach, remember, something visual and vocal is very important in your coaching process for your athletes. If you can get that same mindset for the Christian athlete to visually have a focal point for Jesus Christ and to vocally have conversation with the Lord throughout their particular drill or competition, I'm telling you, that's going to be an exciting process for that athlete. To be able to converse and to think about Christ while you do the drill or while you do your competition will bring the very best of Him out in the inner man.